Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, we will understand what is Hive, how Hive works and why Hive is so popular among data scientists. I am also going to explain you some basic architecture of Hive, what are some pros and cons of Hive and why Hive is used. Okay. All these things we will know in this video. Let us start one by one. First of all guys, what is Hive? So I have already explained you in my previous videos in the same playlist, what is HDFS, right? So HDFS is nothing but Haroop distributed file system. So this is a file system based on Hadoop ecosystem. So the way files are stored in Hadoop. Okay. Now what is Hive guys? So this is basically architecture of Hive that you are seeing here. What is Hive? Hive is nothing but a data warehouse tool. Okay. Data warehouse tool used to work with used to work with structured data. Okay. A structured data. Now some of you might be thinking what is data warehouse tool? So data warehouse is a very simple concept guys to understand for some of you who is not aware of what data warehouse is. Let's say in your home also you might be having a store kind of area, right? Where you put something which you do not use very regularly. So data warehouse is also same concept. So if you take example of let's say pantalons or big bazaar or let's say any other retail store, all these guys will have some transactional data, right? But all these old transactional data, they might not be using in day to day basis, right? So all this data, they will push in a system. That system is called data warehouse. All the historical data will be stored in data warehouse. Okay. So Hive is used for data warehousing tool on top of Hadoop. Okay. And basically with structured data. What I mean by structured data guys, a structured data is nothing but a data which you can store in the form of rows and columns. Okay. Now why Hive is so popular is most of you or most of us are very very familiar with SQL right structured query language we are very familiar with SQL and anywhere we see data we want to retrieve the data using SQL we want to do some basic analysis using SQL Hive provides you that interface on top of Hadoop okay and the language which is used here is called HQL HQL standing for Hive query language HQL is very similar to SQL, almost similar, just few basic differences. So the way you write a SQL query, select employee ID, employee name, from employee, where, some condition, same way you write a HQL query also. Okay. All the people, whether it's a data analyst or data scientist or a big data engineer, all of us can very well analyze the data using this tool. Okay. How Hive will work internally? user will come and submit a query here okay query means some sql query you can say and this is the query engine in this query engine this query will be taken and data data of the hive tables is actually stored in form of files in hdfs so in hdfs you will see different files for different hive tables okay for example when you say select star from emp there will be a table or there will be a file or many files of EMP data in the HDFS, this query engine will fetch the relevant data from the HDFS and display you the output in the tabular format. All these things we will see in our demo guys, don't worry. Okay. So in the UI, you write query and you see the output in a nice tabular format, but internal data is stored in HDFS systems. What Hive can do and what Hive cannot do, it is very important to understand. First of all, the advantages of Hive. Okay. So since it uses HDFS in background, hence it can use the advantage of parallel computing. That is the advantage number one. Advantage number two is it will be fast since it uses parallel computing, since it uses the power of Haroop, hence it will be faster than a normal database if you store huge amount of data like we store in Hive. Third is Anybody can use it very nicely and easily because you need to write SQL based queries. Fourth is Hive is also mounted on top of various cloud offerings. For example, in AWS S3, S3 is a 
data storage tool on Amazon Web Services. Here also you will see Hive is working in the same way it works on top of Hadoop. Okay. So Hive is a widely accepted, widely used tool in the world of big data. Okay. Now little bit history of Hive guys. Hive was developed by Facebook actually and then it was taken by Apache and some more features were added, some more advancements were done and now it is known as Apache Hive. Okay. These are about Hive, some of the usability and some of the popularity of Hive. What are the limitations of Hive guys? First of all, Hive is not a OLTP system. What is an OLTP system guys? I was telling you in my Hadoop introduction video also. In Hadoop, we cannot process until or unless we are not talking about Spark, Kafka, those kind of things. It is not meant for uh, real time processing. What is meaning by real time processing? You go to a superstore, you give your card and you tell, hey, can you check if there are some points in my name? So the, that check has to happen instantly, right? Your card will be scanned and that, that count of points should come from the database immediately. That is online transaction processing. Hive and normally big data platforms are not supported for that. Okay. What it is supported for? It is supported for batch processing. The meaning of that in the same superstore, one month of transaction is done. All the one month of transaction you want to push to your data warehouse. You want to push to your Hadoop system. That is where Hive is useful. Okay. It will store everything, all the historical data and it will help you in viewing that, analyzing that, all these things. So Hive is not an OLTP system. Hive is not a real time, Hive is a batch processing engine. And third is Hive will not support you all the SQL, all the full fledged SQL queries. Okay. As I told you, there are little differences between HQL and SQL. So all the full fledged SQL functionality, if you say it will not be supported in Hive, some of the joins, some of the triggers, cursors might not get supported very well in Hive. Now what makes Hive special is Hive is very well in optimizing your queries. Okay. So optimizing your queries in the sense there are some concepts in Hive which I will show you with some queries in my next video. Hive supports partition. Okay. Partition is something which is a very good feature of Hive. Bucketing is something which is very good feature of Hive. Okay. All these features will make your query run faster. These are some of the special things that Hive support. Okay. So this is about high level introduction of Hive guys. What is Hive? What is Hive used for? Why it is popular? SQL, HQL, what Hive does, what it does not and some of the special features of Hive. In my next video, we are going to see the Hive installation and we are going to practically see partition bucketing, how to load data in Hive, how to pull data from Hive, how to view data, how to write queries, how to, you know, create a text file into Hive table. All these things we will see in our next video. Let me know in comments what doubts you have guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.